Hello, welcome to this Konica Minolta tutorial on how to generate NCR triplicate workflows with sequential numbering using a Curio ProFlux software. So to start this process, the first thing I'm going to do is bring a new print job into the queue. So I've got an A5 order book file which I've created myself. And this is just a one-up, single page A5 file, and I'm going to use this file to generate the triplicate workflow. So it's going to create the file to bring it into the queue and reopen the file. And the first thing I'm going to do is just going to right click and select duplicate range. I'm going to duplicate the file twice, which will give me a total of three pages for my first numbered set. Now what I want to do with this file is I want to, up in this order number area, I want to create my sequential numbering. But also down in this area here, I'm going to create a separate text box to indicate a customer copy and an office copy for my order book. So I'm just going to go over to my uh, text and objects area. And in here, I'm going to generate a text box. Just going to move that up to the position where I want my order number to be. I'll change the font size to 16 point, and I'm also going to change my font color to red for this particular job. Next, I'm going to remove the page prefix from the numbering system. I'm going to replace it with a triple O lead in number, and my first number for this booklet is going to be 5001. So we should see here, if I scroll through these pages, we'll have a sequential number in place here of 5001, 2, 3, etc., which I don't want. I want the same number to be on each page of the set, so I'm going to choose Repeat and set it to 3, which will mean it will repeat the number 3 times. Now that we've got the numbering in position, the next thing I want to do is apply it to the whole document. So if I shift select the 3 pages, right click and choose duplicate range in here I'm going to make sure I tick grouped because I want my numbering to be 111222 etc and I'm going to duplicate this 990 time, 999 times giving me a total of a thousand sets in this booklet so you can see here 5001 repeated three times 5002 and so on if I drag to the very bottom we should see code 6000 as our last code The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to generate our other text box with our customer copy and office copy. To do that, I'm going to choose the select option and choose page range. Make page one my first page selection, and I'm going to repeat the selection every three pages, which will then select the first page in each set. After I've done that, I can click text box, and that will automatically set my page range appropriately. I'll also set this to 16 point font size. I'll leave this font black, but I want to make it bold. Let's drag that to position. And I'll make this my customer copy. Again, I'll do a new selection now. Page range. Start at page 2 this time. Every 3 pages. Select a new text box. And again, my page range is defined for me. I'll make this the office copy. Okay, so now as we scroll through our document, we should see customer copy, office copy, and a blank, and then so on and so forth, repeated down the document. So now this is done, I can move back to my Layout tab now and start to build my imposition. So under Sheet Layout, I'm going to choose Multiple Ups as my imposition type. I'm just going to change my sheet format to the SRO3 landscape. You can also add in some gutters if required. Let's do 5mm for each. 
And under my imposition type, I'm going to make sure I select cut and stack for this particular workflow. So now that my imposition is set, what I can do now is start to apply my page exception settings. I'm just going to zoom out here so that I can see all three sheets of a numbered set. I'm just going to start by selecting page one of the set. And under my paper, I'm going to drop down and choose my NCR carbon back. Select the middle page. That will, of course, be my NCR carbon front and back. And the final page will be my NCR carbon front. Okay, that's our first set set. Now, if I choose first page of set two, you can see here that my paper type is still set to my default stock. To change that, all I need to do is shift select the first three pages where I've defined my media, right click, and then choose the option called repeat range settings. Once I select that, the media setting exceptions are now applied throughout the entire document. Now this works not only with media settings, but also with uh, grayscale and color settings. So let's say I want to make my first page in my set to be color, but the remaining two pages to be black and white. If I just shift select those two pages and set those to black and white, and then again, if I shift select the first set, right click and choose repeat range settings, the black and white setting and the media setting is now replicated throughout the entire document. Now this file is ready to print. In Acura Pro Flux, I've got a few options. I can either print directly to the connected printer, in this case the 14,000, which is where my media is set. Or alternatively, I can choose print to file and output this file as a printable PDF, which I can then take to any device and print the 